If you're sneezing and wheezing this morning, you're probably one of the millions of Americans suffering from asthma and allergies. Now, every year, listen to this, we spend billions, yes, billions on cleaning products to try to make our homes healthier. So, why are you still sneezing and wheezing? Well, the reason may be right under your nose. So today, we're going to tell you why your house may be making you sick and help you get rid of those household allergens and irritants. Our resident guru, Michelle Kazalia, is here to get us started. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for being here. Well, thanks for having me. Well, I first should say Happy Allergy Awareness Month, right? Yes, May. Very important to say that. Asthma and Allergy Awareness Month, absolutely. Because one in four Americans are dealing with asthma and allergies. That's one in three households across America. And that would be me because my daughter, Danny, she suffered from asthma when she was younger. And I gotta tell you, with the coughing and the wheezing. I mean, we had to change air ducts. Oh, wow. air. We did a lot in the house to make her comfortable. Wow. And Good. let me ask you this, because uh, a lot of people ask me, so Danny has asthma, yet my son has allergies. What's the difference? Asthma is a lung disease, which can make it hard to breathe. Allergies is an immune disease, which can cause problems with your nasal passages and with your lungs. Now tell me what are the symptoms, let's say, for asthma and allergy, and I'm gonna assume they're both very dangerous. Yes, they both can be severe and deadly. Some of the symptoms of allergies can be a runny nose, watery eyes, scratchy throat, coughing, and asthma can be heavy breathing, chronic coughing, wheezing, and I know last time you came, you shared your story about your son, and yes. I know that he suffers from food allergens. So I, I know that there's certain foods that can trigger it, but there are also, and I've heard this before, non-food triggers that can cause an allergy or asthma attack, right? Yes. What are those? Correct. Asthma and allergies can be triggered by allergens and irritants lurking in your home. They might be out in the open, or they may be hidden. It depends. And what about all the household cleaning products that we spend so much money on? Do they work? Are they helping? Well, Americans do spend over $10 billion on products and services. $10 billion. Yes, and it amazes me because these products and services claim to be allergy and asthma free. Don't tell me they're not. Well, there's been no scientific proven claim and no government regulation on many of these products and services. So we could be buying these products as I have many times and contributing more to the problem. Correct. Ave Maria. Correct. So how does one know then what to get for their daughter or for their husband or for anyone that's suffering from uh, asthma or allergy? Well, their first stop should be to go to the Asthma Allergy Foundation of America. Okay, tell me about that. It's aafa.org, afa.org. It's an amazing website, has many wonderful resources. It is the largest and oldest nonprofit charity patient organization in the world. So when one goes there, it, it will walk me through and tell me what I need to get and what I can be sure of that will help the situation as opposed to exacerbate the situation? Yes, actually, AFA, Asthma Allergy Foundation of America, and the top medical doctors back in 2006 came together to create a guide, a program. So you as a consumer are empowered and you know when you go to buy a product or service that has the certified seal, you know that you are definitely getting a product or service that has been certified allergy asthma friendly. So that could kind of give me peace of mind that I know this is what I need. Yes, you know that it's been proven rigorous testing in a scientific lab. And that includes things like vacuum cleaners, filters, not just, you know, products that you use to clean the house, everything and anything. Cleaning products, portable air filters, pillow encasements, oh. mattress pad encasements. You know when you go to buy a certified allergy asthma pillow encasement, you know that you are getting a product that is true. Great information. Thank if you. I had known you maybe, let's see, seven years ago when I had all that wheezing going on, I would have known all this. Yes. And I wouldn't have spent so much money. Thank you so much. I know you're coming back this week for I more am. tips. Great. I am. Always love to have you. Thank you, my dear. And of course, meantime, head over to that website, aafa.org, or our website, thebalancingact.com, for all great information there. And coming up next, as promised, we've got some of these great home products that are certified asthma and allergy friendly, and we're going to show them to you, so don't go anywhere. Did you know asthma and allergies strike one out of five Americans? With a 100% increase over the past 20 years, 60% of U.S. households are affected by asthma and allergies. Common indoor allergens are pet dander, dust mite feces, and mold spores, most of which are present year-round. Eight of 10 people in the United States are exposed to house dust mites. Six out of 10 are exposed to cat or dog dander. 